Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Westeros Total War Enhanced Alpha House Stark. You will know the deal. When we last left off, we'd sent Sol and Bolton over to the Iron Islands. We're currently sieging Pike and the Greyjoys inside, attempting to make Vassalage a bit more of a uh, suitable agreement for them. And by that I mean beating the shit out of them until they uh, bend the knee, pretty much. They are the last house in Westeros that have their own king. After they've fallen, Rob will be king of Westeros and all that stuff. There'll be no other claimants to the throne whatsoever. Other than Edric Storm, if he uh, decides to rally against me. Hopefully he won't. But we'll keep Sol sieging the Iron Islands and the Pike. Keep Bolton in harm form. We'll put Brandon in Castley Rock for a second. Send Rob down there to deal with the Greyjoys. Come and face the might of the Reich. He should be make easily w easy work of him, really. He won't stand a chance. I don't think Martel's going to uh, last much longer, though. Unfortunately, I'm not quite sure why the fuck this is lagging. Right, in salt pans. Why the hell is the salt pans rioting? Why the hell is it lagging? Is what I want to know. I, don't, I never get this. The sudden random ass drops in frame rate. It's just like we must lag because we, the, the, now and yeah. <laughs> Stop lagging, you son of a bitch, or I'll break your legs. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? I, my liege. It's Christmas Eve music because it's like. The day after Christmas, when I'm recording this. Well, sire, we shall engage. Let's do this. Hopefully, the lag will fuck off when we're inside the game. Maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> Nothing has changed whatsoever from five seconds ago when I was recording the previous part of this. So, the fuck? Really? Is it just the fuck? <laughs> <sighs> now that is an agreement if you've ever heard one. Put Daniel Steele down and I promise you shall have a quick and painless death. Hmm. Well, personally, I'd rather fight and die, but rather than just, uh, you know, surrender and die. When it comes to those two choices, I'd pick the fight and die part. It's not like the Stark's gonna torture you, is it? <laughs> At the very least, with the fight and die option, you take some of the bastards with you. I always try and keep the archers in loose formation, because then they don't fucking get in the way so much. They don't get shot as much. The battle is very much in our favour. If we okay, I'll send and Rob steadfast, and his cavalry over ours. to the left hand side. And I'll send this group of cavalry over to the right.
Oh, look. No. No. Yes. Okay, I'm not fucking sure what's going on here, people. The frame rate has dropped so fucking much that I can barely move. Okay, let's just try something for a second. Pause the fucking game. Let's go into the menu. No. Okay, f no, okay, let's go into the graphics. Why is the grass detail nice? Let's turn the fucking grass detail down. Well, this is probably going to make any fucking difference. But, this isn't anything to do with the game, I don't think. This is just my fucking... Okay, no, that, that did make a fucking difference. Okay. <laughs> quite sure why I have the grass and vegetation on so much usually, but... I mean, I'm not quite sure what the hell the difference is between now and one minute ago when we were recording perfectly fine, but... whatever. If it makes it run smoother, I shall sacrifice the grass and vegetation. Why the Ironborn have cavalry? So it's doing it again <laughs> when the frame rate drops for no apparent fucking reason. No, get out of there! I don't want to sit around all day attacking useless fucking pieces of shit. Well, we are attacking the Ironborn, so we are technically attacking useless pieces of shit anyway. But you get my meaning. I have no idea why the frame rate does this occasionally. Every night that I re record, at least once, I get a problem like this. Oh look, the frame rate's dead. Just randomly, it will just go. You probably find my voice is a little bit out of sync now as well, thanks to the lag. Because <laughs> the frame rate drops and then all the voice goes out of sync and everything. And it's just kind of annoying. See, but it's still doing it. It's, uh... Not quite sure fucking why it's doing it. But it's still doing it. <laughs> the only explanation I can think of is something's popped up in the background. <laughs> Something that's running quite a lot of fucking juice. Why do the Ironborn have cavalry? They should totally not have cavalry. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Let's kill him already. Get out of here so I can fix the fucking frame rate. You probably find it will be the exact same fucking deal on the. I'm saying fucking a lot today. Look <laughs> how our cowardly this is a curse you, frame rate. That goes to only men making me curse. More than usual. Which is saying something. <sighs> ah. I always found it fucking people that get offended by. Words like the word fucking shit. It's a word. It's the concept. Any co any word used in a certain concept can offend somebody if you're easily offended. But just the word crap offends some um, some people. Oh my god, don't swear, kind of thing. What? If you go ah crap, no need to swear. What? Okay. It's not. It's just not the house that I was raised up in. I'm afraid. It's the concept that words are used in, not so much the. Uh, Honor, my lord. Word itself. For the honor of Scotland, we march to battle. This is a proud victory for Scotland's finest. 
Leading the men with honor, sire. Go Glory and honor to the Highlands. This is take right cool. I noble sire. By your will, sire, we shall engage. We shall hold the See, it's doing it on the map as well. You just have to bear with it, guys. I am sorry about this. I have no idea why it does it at all. It just it just randomly it will work fine for like the last five recordings that I've done, and now suddenly, li literally a couple of seconds after I finished the previous part of this video, it's now just gone. Yeah, no, 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 not gonna work today. No, it's it's not gonna fucking happen. An honor, my lord, for the honor of Scotland. We march to battle. Yeah, it's not even worth fighting that. We vastly outnumber them against shit militia units and stuff as well. So, a victory all Scotland will sing of. A most noble conquest, sire. I'm a king. See if we can't. Have you come for the Kaiser's forgiveness? Entice them with money. So that once again, I think even if I offer them all of my money that I have, it still doesn't change whatsoever. Goodbye, my friend. In my personal experience, the only way to get someone to accept vassalage is to the point where they have, like, no fucking army whatsoever compared to everybody else. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Be gone! You are not my Kaiser. My king. Aye, Lord. My king. Aye, my liege. For the honor of Scotland, we march to battle. <sighs> Glory and honor to the Highlands. By your will, sire, we shall engage. A victory all Scotland will sing of. Leading the men with honor, sire. Rob's daughter an illegitimate daughter hmm okay I'll cheat later and remove the train <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to do that Martel, bitch. <laughs> there you go. There, there's my fucking reason for not going to help the Martels. I hope they're not. I hope that all Rob's children aren't fucking illegitimate. Because uh, <laughs> that will suck. I'm not yours to command, Dummkopf! Aye, Captain. Aye, Captain. 
Uh, so those longboats are like 20 times better than anything I've got. I just have to wait for them to land and then, uh... I, noble sire, for the honor of Scotland, we march to battle. Oh! A proud victory for Scotland's finest. Just have to wait for the Greyjoy ship to land over at Pike, kick its ass with my soul and custom general. Well, assuming it doesn't use its brain and land somewhere uh, where it's not defended. I'm not which it probably will. Command. Don't cough. Fleet ready. Aye, sire. Just to grab Bran for a Lord. second. Aye, Lord. Aye, Captain. A victory all okay, we may have accidentally killed all the graduates. We have brought lands and glory to Scotland. Oh well. <laughs> well, in that turn, I guess. We found our new Lord of the uh, Iron Islands. <laughs> that works, actually. It's Brandon's only son, so we'll make him the Lord of the Iron Islands from Pike. Aye, forward. The men of March Dell in it. Aye, noble son. For the honor of Scotland, we march to battle. A throne! Oh! Glory and honor to the Highlands! Oh well, so much for making them vassals, anyways. Nah, that kind of fucking sucks. Wow. It's my own downfall for marrying that Martell bitch. <laughs> In the book, she was a bit of a, uh... Well. She pretty much shagged everything that moved. And I think the thought was inherited that. You see, I'm not sure, is that an illegitimate daughter because Rob screwed a different girl? I think it is. Although I have my sneaky suspicions it's the Martell girl. Is it just me because it's kind of weird that she was more ooh, loyal than I, wait a minute. I just realized <laughs> I've, I've had a subscriber bug me for ages. Oh, not bug me, just he's asked me like a multiple bunch of times uh, about marrying. When he married uh, Asha to one of his princesses, he said that she died the second the Greyjoy faction was destroyed. And I just realized it died peacefully. But yet she's still, like, not grayed out or anything. Aye, Captain. 
Oh, we may as well leave Brand back down here now at Casting Rock, I guess. We're taking the men ashore, sire. I, my liege. I, you will sire. Uh, we'll use this ship to send. Aye. Aye, Captain. Because we'll keep, that's what we'll do anyway, because he's got. He's got uh, Greyjoy relations. No today. So we'll, we'll make him the Lord of the Iron Islands from Pike through his uh, connection to House Greyjoy. Kind of sucks, I couldn't make my vassals, but I doubt they'd ever have accepted it anyway. You crap. I just lost fucking goddamn rebellions all popping up all over the place because of the damn Faith of the Seven. Ooh, the Faith of the Seven! Worship the trees! Worship the trees! <laughs> I'll fucking kill ya! Aye. Aye, sire. An enemy to crush. Aye! Aye, Captain. My king. I sire. Okay, that'll take Bolton back to the north. Where's Rob at? Still down there. Yeah. See what I can retrain in Craig Hall. Leaving the army. I'll take Rob back over to King's Landing. I mean, technically, he should be the the uh, King of the Iron Throne now. Okay. Rob's cha wars changed Rob. Okay. This man has pursues various women. Okay, so it probably isn't the Marto girl. <laughs> it's probably just Rob. War has really changed him. <laughs> In war, it doesn't matter. I don't know where I'm going with that. He's he's been screwing around. <laughs> Literally. Aye, Lord. My king. I saw my king. An honor, my lord. I'm hoping that uh, his son is legitimate. Or maybe his next daughter, so that I can marry her off to somebody. My right, king. Uh, I'm gonna give Bran. Oh, yeah, take Bran to King's Landing with Rob in a minute. We march to glory. We'll rest here the night, son. I'm relatively sure we can't, uh, what the? Tully's trying to take my fucking place now. <laughs> my king. Aye, lord. And great, because I didn't... <sighs> Honestly, if you don't kill everybody in this settlement, they just oh, take liberties. Aye. If you don't stop bitching, I will just have to eventually start killing people. I mean, Rob's already sleeping around. He'll start fucking murdering people at the minute. I, my liege, in your name, sire. I, Lord. I, approaching to engage the enemy. There's a lot of people. I'll get Brandon to take that on the way over there. I, sire. Is it time to assault the walls? Just often get the drop off. Bolton up there. Aye, Captain. Aye, sire. Then again, even if I did make Greyjoy my vassal, I think they'd still have kingship, and we didn't want that at all, did we? So, 
It's probably for the better that we kill them and then just made. Fleet ready. Off that tie. What? My king. Because it makes sense. I mean, he's got greater relations now in his blood, so. I think if we make him the Lord of the Iron Islands, it makes a lot more sense, and it does fit the bill, so we'll keep that story, I guess. My king! Aye, sire. My king! We march to glory. Aye. Move out. The men have marched their limit. I'm wondering whether or not his second daughter is going to be legitimate as well. Rob, stop sleeping around, damn it! You need an heir. One of legitimate blood, god damn it! I, my liege. Damn. If Tully wins this, then they get the land. I think. Crap. Oh well. Tully gets that place. One less annoying fucking place for me to worry about due to the damn public. Uh, Shit. <laughs> Long story short, I no longer have to worry about soul pans. Fine with me, he thought he can have that. My king. I sire. And we'll keep the royal fleet there, parked in King's Landing's docks. Course plotted captain. I sire. We'll take Bolton back to the dreadful. And the Grave Stark, uh, the Stark with the uh, Greyjoy thingamajig in it can go to there. There won't be much battles now, guys. It's almost finished. It's just going to be me moving Rob and everyone into their places. Send Bolton back to there. Very well. I shall they keep moving Rob over. I noble sign. Where to? Move out. An honor, my lord. I. Aye, forward. The men have marched their limit. There you go. They're happy on their way there. I don't know if anyone's noticed yet, but I'm hoping that Stark's, uh, Rob's second daughter is legitimate because I want to marry her off to uh, my the sole general, <laughs> with any luck. But I don't particularly want to marry into a bastard. Aye, noble sire. Aye, sire. Where to? Move out. Aye. Yeah, he's like the perfect claimant for the Iron Islands, because he does have, like, the only drop of Greyjoy blood left. So... An honor, my lord. Aye. Love it, you can go over there. Where's the fight? My lord. Oh god, the lag! Why is the frame rate suddenly dropped? <laughs> it's random, it really fucking is. I have no idea what makes it tick. Move out! My king! Yeah, actually, if I keep Rob as king in... Now that he's king of Westeros, I'll keep him in King's Landing and make the prince... The prince of West uh, of Winterfell and rule the north from actually in the north. So if we go here... Ah, no, not there. That button. And then make this... The capital.
You're only getting 10 grand alone from King's Landing. <laughs> Okay, next turn. Fleet ready. Seriously, now Barrowtown is rebelling. <laughs> it's probably the whole distance from the capital thing. If that's the case, surely Bear Keep should be really pissed off. <laughs> aye, Captain. Aye, the Simba. Aye, noble son. Aye, okay, if we get Soul, bring him there. Aye, Stick him aye, in the pike. Aye, son. Aye, Captain. Aye. Aye, Lord. There you go, I'll leave him with that. Forward. Fleet ready. Aye, Captain. Dropping anchor until the morrow, sire. Hey, here she is. Pit pray with me, people. Come on. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. She's another illegitimate daughter. What the hell is with you, Rob? The hell am I going to hope that her, his third daughter is going to be legitimate? God damn it, Rob! You're really screwing up my plans, man. What the hell's wrong with you? I mean, I could always marry. I mean, she's kind of fucking but but ass ugly. <laughs> But at this point, I just really want to keep my custom general's bloodline flowing. Aye, Captain. Aye, heading ashore, my lord. Aye, noble son. My king. Aye, lord. Move out. My king. Aye. March! We'll fill uh, Lannisport up with basic troops as well. Where's the other girl? She have a Winterfell or something. Maybe she's a stony set for some reason. Now you made me think in yourself, so does Mary marry your general off to this Sansa, but First of all, Sansa's like thirty two. <laughs> And second of all, it won't show up in the Stark family tree, so I won't be able to keep up track of him. So I'd rather marry into like a direct line of the Starks rather than Sansa that doesn't show up in the family tree whatsoever. Which is just kind of annoying. I'll keep building from Dragonstone. And Castle Rock as well. And Pike while I'm at it as well, also. I have plenty of cash. As long as I stay in the green. Leaving the army. Damn, Rob. Why do you have to go around and sleep around with people? <laughs> oh well. At the very least, I can say that's why I can't be bothered going there to go help uh, Martel. 
that and you know I don't really want to go against two massively powerful houses just for the sole purpose of Oh, my wife's a Martel, but none of my children are actually hers. For the Highlands. I am ready to approach them, Father. So yeah, until Barbary here or Brion is actually confirmed to be of her kid. <laughs> There shall be no aid for them. They will be alone. Alone, I tell you! I'm topping everything now. <laughs> okay, we'll give this another minute and then we'll end it, I think. For now, at least. God damn it, Rob. <laughs> Why'd you have to sleep around so goddamn much? You had a fine ass looking wife. There was practically a whore. You wouldn't say that in polite company, but she was practically one bad ass looking whore. <laughs> and what does Rob do? He's the king, he sleeps with whoever he wishes. He really just tossed his father's philosophy out the window. Then again, he probably thought to himself, my father's philosophy got himself killed. So, uh, yeah. I'm not going to follow in his footsteps. At the very least, I can marry him off to, uh... I don't know. Actually, other people. <laughs> there you go, Move that's Lannisport, Sami up and running. Then you got Sol and Castle Rock. Lannisport and Castle Rock are both fully secured. Pike will be in a minute. In two turns, Pike will be full. See, I'm still getting like 20,000 every turn. Or something stupid like that. No, we may as well wait till 40 minute mark and then end it there. The next part will be quite a few turns ahead and uh, in whatever wars next probably something to do in the south depends on how many of Rob's kids are actually legitimate and not bastards <laughs> not that Rob cares I don't think he'll obviously look after them like if they were his own legitimate kids much in the same way uh, Eddard always looked after John and like he was on his own Cheers. Okay, is she legitimate? You see, look, you never thought that a Greyjoy would be more faithful to her husband than a Martell. Then again, with that chick's background, you, you, it's debatable, but still. Then again, where did she get the blonde hair from? Let's not ask too many questions, so will be here all day. Okay guys, anyway. We'll end this here, and we'll come back in quite a few turns when we've seen what's going on in the south. That's all for now guys, there'll be an annotation on the top right hand side. When we come back, it will be quite a few turns ahead, I imagine, when all the armies are secure, the borders are secure, all my men are retrained, and we're ready to go with war with whoever the hell gets in our way. Uh, before we end the video here, we'll have a quick look at this. Yeah, no longer king. No longer king. 
no longer king, and no longer king. So everyone is no longer king. So I'm the king of Westeros, I guess. Oh well. <laughs> anyway guys, that's all for now. Annotation top right hand side. I will see you there. Soul out.